Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, another week, another roundup, and this week we've got some items for you that may help you out with everything that's going on in the world today. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. The Excel Club has another blog post looking at nine tips for Power BI. And this is really centered around if you're creating reports or data models inside of Power BI itself. So these tips range everywhere from working with your data to DAX to just working around inside of Power BI. Just some nice, cool tips and tricks. Obviously, there's a lot more than just this. So I'd love to hear you in the comment. Let me know which what tip you've got for Power BI. Let's share the love out. Use hashtag Power BI tip as part of that comment. If you're just getting started with Power BI, it's a great blog post to start with just to get you know the brain cells moving on what you can do inside of Power BI, especially if you're coming from Excel. Reed Havens over at Havens Consulting has a blog slash video looking at the hierarchy slicer. So one of the challenges you have with the hierarchy slicer, depending on what you're using in those hierarchies, you could end up having empty members and those would show up as blank. And so in this video, he looks at how you can hide those empty members or you know get rid of the blanks in the hierarchy slicer itself. If you've been struggling with this and you wanna check out how you can actually go about hiding those empty members, check out his video, I got it linked up here and also down in the description below, along with links to all the items in this week's roundup, including some bonus items, so go check it out. All right, so hopefully this item will help you and your organization to stay in communication about what's really going on. This is a new Power Platform template that's available for you relating to crisis communication. So I'm sure we're all aware of the you know, coronavirus, COVID-19, all the impact that that's having to our daily lives and our work lives. And this template really is a way that you can help stay on top of communication and people can help report in their status. And then you can have that holistic look at the data so you can organize that, manage that from an organization perspective. From creating a Power App, integration with Microsoft Teams, and bringing it all together inside of a Power BI report, this is a great solution to just stay on top of where everyone's at and how they're doing and just to be able to manage that from an organization perspective. I know it can be stressful. There's a lot of emotions inside of this as well. So take a look at this template and see if you can implement this as a way to just help out and maybe lift some burden off of some folks. Also, shout out to the folks over at Schlumberger. This solution template was actually inspired by something that they had done on their end, so good job. Be sure you're looking at the WHO website for the latest information on the coronavirus and COVID-19 to make sure that you're actually getting the facts of what's actually happening. All right, following that trend, this is an older blog post, but uh, my buddy Casper tweeted it out recently and I thought it fit really well into what's going on following you know the whole coronavirus, COVID-19, all of that stuff. And this is a blog post that Casper DeYoung has on how to handle working from home. He's got a couple of tips and tricks for you in terms of managing that lifestyle. And you know, reading through that, I can echo a lot of that. It's, it is something you have to stay on top of and be aware of, otherwise you can get distracted and lost in a lot of things. I myself have been working from home for, uh, I don't know, uh, four or five years now. Uh, I know Patrick has also been working from home for a very long time. We have our own little spaces that we can go to to focus on the work that we do. So as you can see, I've got my studio here. Patrick has his basement at his house that we go and our, that is our work area. So if working from home is a new thing for you, definitely read this blog post. Casper's got you covered for some things to think about. And he's also got a link to a book that may help you as well. Again, links down below. We got an announcement from the Power BI team. This one was highly anticipated and that is an export to API that you can use to export PDFs, PowerPoint, and PNG images for you to send out and use within your organization. So if you've got a Power BI report that you wanna generate and do something with that PDF, you can call the Export to API, generate that PDF, and then do something with it. So maybe you're setting up some scheduling mechanism that you then send out that PDF to a bunch of people. 
Or if you have an embedded application, maybe you have a print button inside of that application. When they click on that, it actually generates that PDF for them that they can then download. Also, if you've been looking for that PDF capability from a subscribe nature inside of Power BI for Power BI reports, this is a way you could potentially handle that and kind of create your own system on it to go ahead and provide that functionality to your users. It's external to Power BI, so you'll have to actually create some mechanism for them to you know, set up that schedule and then for that to actually go kick off. So almost like a data-driven subscription that you have to create yourself, but it is possible. So if that's something you're interested, check out the blog post down below. All right, I wanna hand this off to you. What was your favorite item this last week? Maybe it was something I mentioned, maybe it was something I didn't. Let me know down in the comments below. I wanna hear it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.